Five years after the world has depleted its oil reserves, a young group of cyclists, led by a 19-year-old Briar Dunlap, have banded together to ferry food deliveries to people in Pahokee, Pennsylvania, in order to keep the town afloat during the crisis. But when a group of corporate oil moguls come to Pahokee, claiming that the town is rich in shale oil, not only is Briar's new way of life put at risk, but so is her entire town. Hello, my name is Shailen Cotton, and I am the writer and co-director of the series After Oil. Hey, I'm Jessica Naftali. I'm the co-developer and co-director of After Oil. After Oil is the story of a young bisexual woman coming into her own. In the first episode, a young boy in Briar's charge goes missing. When Briar and her girlfriend Sarah discover his dead body, they suspect that there's been foul play. She's determined to prove that the oil corporation is somehow involved. She's convinced that the permit they submitted to drill on the Pokey Preserve after years of banning hydrofracking in the state has in fact been forged. The more that Briar investigates, the more that her own family is put in danger. Briar is determined to prove that Norman Simpkins of the Vero Oil Corporation is intent on destroying her town, but what she finds instead is that they are in fact two sides to the same coin. They're both taking advantage of the crisis and both believe that their services are for the good of the town, but what Briar is really afraid of more than her town being destroyed is her community no longer needing her. There are so many incredible series that explore the complexities of being LGBTQ in our current culture, but there needs to be more narratives that feature LGBTQ people as heroes in genre films. Having a bisexual female character as a lead in a dystopian drama is an important step in improving inclusion in our media. There will be 10 episodes in total for our first season, and each episode will run between 10 and 12 minutes in length. As bisexual women, we want to see ourselves in our entertainment. It's time that our culture sees the LGBTQ community as more than just our sexuality. We can exist in genre films. We can exist in a world after oil.